it, apparently <clears throat> she hasn't seen all of our programs, but we definitely, within this last year, Mike, we've really got into the, the ecumenical side and of deception going on out there in, in the so-called evangelical world. But I, I, I'd like to make one distinction, though, is that most Christians are not, they're trying to follow Jesus, they're not violent. Um, mm. The Roman church doesn't have the power that it did once, so it can't wield the sword as it did. And uh, so, you know, a lot of the press doesn't like any religion, and they try and equate Islam with Christians, and they use the word fundamentalist, and they try and make it all the same, whereas Muhammad led raiding parties, about 20 of them. He fought uh, against people and, and led his, uh, his uh, warriors into battle, whereas Jesus said the way we're going to spread the truth is just by reasoning with people and not by you know, fighting with So they're totally opposite, even though some of the press likes to try and make them equate the two of them and say that, each one is as dangerous as the other in terms of violence, which is, which is not true at all. We've got David on the line. Is this the same David that called last week? Hello? Hi, David. Hey, I call you guys every now and then. I don't know if it was last week or the week before that I called. Definitely voice well, sounds familiar. We've spoken, guys. Huh? What did he say? I think he said, what are we smoking or something like we that. We have spoken, Oh, we have guys. spoken. Oh. Yes, we have. Yeah, sometimes, David, we get... No, I'm not accusing you of smoking anything. I, I, it's, <laughs> I, I misheard you. Something. We misheard you. Hey, David, what do you want to share with us? Well, no, I want to ask you a question. Now, I know that you guys are into, I mean, based on what I'm hearing tonight, eugenics, the whole movement that has occurred. No, no, we, we, didn't, we weren't going that direction. The other caller brought that up. Well, is it okay that that direction happens? Sure. Okay. Well, what, what I want to ask you is, are you guys, you know, I, I don't really know who you guys are connected with, but I, I had a friend with a developmental disability that was euthanized in Oregon without, of course, her consent because she was nonverbal. Is that something that you guys are concerned about? Well, we're, we're always concerned when someone takes life into their own hands outside of the will of the Creator, yes. So it's, would, you, would you be able to hook me up with anybody? or I mean, are you guys connected to anybody or... You know what, it, uh, hey, David? Uh, Dave here. Uh, are you are you thinking that we're uh, coming from a place of of uh, supporting or agreeing in or endorsing eugenics? No, I'm thinking that you guys are totally opposed to okay, it. Okay, that's that would be correct. I think. No, I, I you know <coughs> that's the first person I've heard of that was euthanized. as well as euthanasia. I yeah. mean, you know, eugenics is a larger picture. But euthanasia is sort of the, the more individualized picture. Yeah, I, I don't know how to help you with that, David, but I'm sure if you talk to some uh, elected official or, I don't know, y y y your guess is as good as mine. But you know what? You call from time to time, and I'm curious, David, what about your spiritual search? Where are you? That's what we love to talk about with people is where are you? Are you a truth seeker? Well, sure, I'm a truth seeker. Well, what, what, but, I mean, I'm a justice seeker more more as more than what you guys talk about as truth seekers. Well, justice kind of flows from the truth of Jesus and the Bible. It guides us to what just true justice really is. Well, have you, you know, have that's you why read... I call your show. Pardon? I call your show because I believe truth and justice are hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and, and I believe that Jesus spoke of truth and justice as being hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in fact, he even said, I am the truth, the life and the way. Well, and so sure. him, him being the, the, the full truth, the absolute truth, and the just creator. I don't, think I, I don't think I have to ascribe to a religion to be looking for justice and truth. 
Now, David, I mean, you, you know, don't that, you that, don't believe that Jesus. What you guys are selling on here, and I'm cool with that. Otherwise, I wouldn't call. Can I ask you, David? Um, what stops you from believing that Jesus is who he claimed to be? That he died. Because I see what's going on all around the world. I see what's going on in America. I'm not naive. I mm -hmm. I see the hi hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. You know. What does I that have, have to do with Jesus dying for his relationship sins? relationship with God that's not related to a religion. And, w David, so would, you're saying we're religious? Oh, absolutely. You guys come across as really religious. <laughs> how, how about more like zealots? Kind of, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you've heard me speak about our definition of religion versus relationship. Are you still there? Yeah, I am. Oh, oh, I'm just thinking. Well, you know, I, I don't watch your show every week. I just, I, I watch Lawrence Welk, and when I'm feeling a little bit frisky, I <laughs> you decide go to your show afterwards. Well, well that's wonderful. <laughs> David, here's, here's the difference between what we believe and this religion you're talking about. These religions will tell you that their religion is the way we're here to tell you that Christ only is the way, and it's a relationship with the one who created well, I'm you. Not, I'm not so sure that I agree with you. I, I, believe that Christ, I believe that Christ taught that truth and justice was the way. You mm -hmm. know, when he said me, when he said I am, mm -hmm. I believe that he was talking about a way of being in the world. No, that just kind of flows. That's secondary. He said, you know, you don't want to die in your sins. He said, no man comes to the Father but through me. And he well, said... who was he? he? He was truth and justice. But he, he's the Messiah who died for well, our sins. Well, you know, that, that's your, your gig. And, and, right, you know, because you that's, what he, says in, that's what he says in the Bible. But listen, David, we, you know, thanks for watching. And uh, we're going to show a section of film... That was related to some of what we were talking to about. To answer his euthanasia um, question or the seeking of who he should go to, I, you know, Dave, if you just seek out Jesus, he will show you the just and truth and probably sh also shed light on, on what happened um, to your friend because everything that takes place in the world is in here. And you need to know about anything, especially the absolute truth about anything, um, it's covered here in his word. He left nothing that, that you know, nothing is hidden that won't spiritually, be revealed. Yeah. Spiritually. Right. And, and again, dealing with uh, his friend, especially the spiritual end of it. But you know, but those you, that choose to take, um, to, to take life or death from someone, he speaks about that. But you right. know, we've talked about the main reasons why most people don't try and search for the evidence, the prophetic evidence, and don't go that deep. And there's two things that we always mm -hmm. talk about, and maybe you could just share them just briefly. And those are the things that keep people, according to Jesus, yeah, away from yeah. Him. They either don't want to give up sin, or or they're they're worried about what other people will think if they start pursuing this Jesus. That's right. That's and right. It, that's it. That's what Jesus said. Yeah, because the prophetic evidence is so overwhelming. There's no way anyone could have told the future 100% accurately, but it's been done in the Bible. You know, there's the picturing Israel scattered throughout the earth, brought back, Iran being their, one of their main enemies when they come back, Jerusalem being the troublesome spot in the world that everyone's warned during the, everything's going to come down all around it. And there's, there's no way they could have known all that, you know, way back 2,500 years ago. You know, just real quick, David, you mentioned I am. And Jesus' claim of, I am the good shepherd, I am the door of the sheep, I am the light of the world, I am the truth, the life, and the way. <clears throat> and, and us trying to explain about this relationship versus religion, if you just read in John chapter 10, 11 through 18, about his um, teaching on, I am the good shepherd, he talks and shows the relationship aspect of why he's here. My sheep know my voice. I know my sheep. They know my voice. I know the Father. The Father knows me. I lay down my life for the sheep. And if you look up that, that I give my life, I lay my life down, he says it over and over again. That's that ultimate sacrifice he was talking about. And he does it voluntarily.